Howdy. to another video today we are going to be doing something I am very excited about um, if you hear any noise just know it is my dad he is hard work yard working right now so that's what it is if you hear a weed eater lawnmower anything that makes noise and is an electrical appliance that is my dad so before we get started you know the drill go ahead and follow me on my social media I have been having so much fun on TikTok although it is a little sad sometimes people are very mean on there not to me People are just mean to other people and it makes me sad, but there's a lot of positivity going on on there. There's a lot of great messages being spread and I just love everything that's going on so far right now. I've seen so many videos about the current situations of the world right now that really aren't being talked about on the news, but it's amazing to see, honestly, people coming together on a platform you don't expect people to come together on. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. I'm so thankful that I'm literally like 25 people away from 400 subscribers. I, My brain, my tiny brain can't process that and I love it and I thank you because like a week ago I was like, I don't even know if it's worth it. I'm producing content and some people like it, but I mean, is it worth the like $400 a month almost, or like, you know, $300, $400 a month for an editor if like no one cares and I was feeling really down so to see my channel growing it means the world and I appreciate every single view that you all give me every like every subscriber everything because being a small channel I'm really only doing it because I like creating content and because hopefully you all like watching so really quickly I just want to say before we dive into what we're gonna dive into I have a pretty serious message that I would like to say. I know my previous video was about Dolls Kill. Now since then, there's a lot that has happened in the world. And I would like to say, at this time, I do not support Dolls Kill and I do not want you to support Dolls Kill. On the personal page of the founder, owner of Dolls Kill, she was telling people to, she was telling the police to shoot and like gas, whatever, any protesters, even if they were peaceful and outside her store. So, I don't, you know, that just depends on your opinion on this whole situation, which I'm not going to get into. If, you know, you are someone that wants to stand up for Black Lives Matter and you do support the peaceful protesters and everything going on, don't support Dolls Kill because there's been a lot, not just art theft accusations and all the stuff I went into and all the links I posted, but there's been a lot of nasty negative towards the things happening in the world and the change that people are trying to bring about. So, I do not want to condone that. I do not want to support that and I'm putting that out there because some people can look past art theft but I can't look past telling an owner of a store to shoot peaceful protesters. I can't, I can't do it. So that's what I wanted to say. Hello, post video Kayla here and what a look. I know. A queen. So anyway, I just got out of the shower and I was scrolling through Instagram and it looks like the founder of Dolls Kill has posted, oh look at that, okay, has posted um, like a Instagram TV thing and she's apologizing. So she's apologizing for everything. I think it's basically from what I can tell it's going to be a series because people are saying well what about this, what about this, and they're like that's next, that's next. So apparently she's apologizing. So if that makes a difference to some of you, at this point my mind is like so confused. I just wanted to give an update because there's a lot going on. And right now she's apologizing for the way that the pol she told the police to treat the protesters. So obviously this there's a lot of different opinions. Some people are saying you have nothing to apologize for. Other people are saying, well, what about the art theft? Or are you not apologizing for that? And she's saying she's going to. So my mind doesn't know if so many people were complaining because when they posted the black square for um, Blackout Tuesday, people were not having it in the comments because they used to sell a t-shirt that said goth is white. Okay, so problematic, but anyway, so people were not having it. So I don't know whether to think that she's actually apologizing because she's sincerely sorry or she's apologizing because so many people were calling her out. That's like all the comments were. That's all you could find. I'm not sure. It's honestly hard for me to think that someone could have that big of a change of heart to say, hey, sorry for telling the police to, like, gas and shoot and attack the protesters to, I'm sorry. 
please stop hurting my wallet. That's honestly how I feel. And so at this point, it's up to you. I would suggest you please go watch Dolls Kill's story, do your research, and you figure out if you want to shop there. This is getting too messy for me, and this company is just too problematic. So I think I'm just going to drop out, you know? I don't want to deal with someone, some, some company that's having this many problems. And when someone called them racist in 2014, they responded by saying, we're something sassy and stick it up your assy. And basically was taught, saying, you called us racist and you were basically a snowflake and that's the stupidest thing we've ever heard. So there's that. <laughs> okay, anyway. Back to the video. Okay, you guys, you know, like a month or two ago, I tried some magnetic lashes and that went fantastic. So today we're gonna do round two, but we're gonna try a new way. So the way before was you took two strips and you put one on the top, one on the bottom, and they were supposed to magnetic together. This one is magnetic eyeliner, and then you put the eyelashes on top of it. So that seems like it may be a little more doable, even though I'm really don't want to do all this eyeliner, which is why I have none on right now. And I'm going swimming after this, so like if it all turns horrible, it will just come off. It's fine. It's fine. I have nowhere to go. I have no one to show up and impress with. I'm fine. This is by Eyelure London. It's called Pro Magnetic Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. So what you're supposed to do is apply one coat of eyeliner, let it dry, apply two more coats, and then put the magnetic lashes on. So we'll see how that goes. It seems a little more simpler. I don't have to line up two magnets and hope it doesn't stab my eye out. We will see. I might do like a wing on one and not on the other just so I can, cause I am the worst at eyeliner sometimes, especially if I don't know what I'm doing. And guess what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's get this package open and jump into it. Oh, please, I don't wanna str for a lighter look, apply the liner a little thicker than a lash band for a more cat eye. Why? Okay, well I don't really need you to tell me how to apply eyeliner. I got that, thank you. Oh, I forgot my mirror. My high quality mirror system, a mason jar and a mirror. I'm doing what works for me, guys. Great. Okay. It seems self-explanatory. I'm gonna wing it. The instructions are just shake magnetic eyeliner, apply three layers of magnetic lash liner to the lash line, wait for it to dry in between layers, and lay the magnetic lash on top of your natural lash. I mean, it sounds pretty simple. The last one sounded pretty simple, but you remember how that went? Should I zoom in? Ooh, that's out. Hello. So we're gonna get this out of the very quiet packaging that it comes in. And we're gonna start with the right one because I just feel like that's gonna be the best for us. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It has the, I don't know if you can see. Ooh, sorry about my dirty fingernail. Oh, that was gross for everybody involved. So it has four magnetic, please focus, four magnetic lash strips, as you can see, and that's what's supposed to adhere to your eye. So, I mean, it should be fine. This is literally what the last one looked like. <laughs> I'm gonna move y'all back a little bit so you can see. I don't know what look I'm going for. I always do a cat eye, so we'll see what happens. Okay, all right, that's good enough. Oh, it's too big, it's too big. That's good. This is going, this is going good. This is going good, guys. I haven't messed anything. Up yet. So I did it pretty much right along the lash line because I have hooded eyes and boy sometimes it gets a little crazy looking. So okay, I think that's fine. I'm really, I'm trying. So let me try to fix what I've done and this is where things start to get awful. So okay, that's what we have. That's what, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me make this worse. Okay, there is no way on God's green earth that I'm gonna be able to match this on the other side of my face. We're doing one eye at a time. Okay, I feel okay, I feel all right about this. It says let it dry, so we're just gonna chat for like 10 seconds. Oh, a genuine question, as we're all here. This makeup look that I have, not my eyes, but my face, I wanna do a video on it because it's a brand where it's kind of like supposed to be a natural look, so I don't use any brushes, I only use my hands. I know it's like, wow, are you 13? But it's that's how the products are made. It's supposed to be for fast, so like a very natural finish, and I really like it, and this is what I'm gonna do when I start going back to work, because I don't always want a full face, and a full face of makeup at the gym is just gross some days, and for my nasty, acne-prone skin, 
it ain't good, y'all. So if you want to know what brand and how to do, let me know. Okay, I feel like it might, it might be dry. I mean, I feel like it should be dry. Maybe I should be fanning. I don't know what I should be doing. Okay, here we go. Here we go. It says you can wear these up to 15 times, so that would be good because I always tear my eyelashes apart when I try to like clean them because I'm impatient and I just rip things off. So if this is 15 wears, that'd be amazing. But I don't think, ooh, hold on, I gotta concentrate again. Okay, that's coat number two. Now I will say, here's, here's the thing that I just thought about and I normally think about things too late, so this is one of those things. I normally curl my eyelashes before putting on false lashes and then I put mascara on them so you know my natural lashes are pretty straight if I put mascara on them they're gonna be sticking out like that and so if I curl them and put mascara on them then they look more real like the lashes but I don't put my eyeliner on after my mascara so I don't really know how I would do that in this situation so I'm just gonna hope that this turns out okay this is assuming this these lashes are even gonna go on my eyes which I really have no faith. Okay, I feel like it's dry enough. Here we go. There's a lot happening behind me. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it's my parents. So whenever you start to layer this up, well, sometimes whenever I do eyeliner, I like wait a few and go back just to fix anything. But this is very thick and it gets very hard. So I'm going over it and I can just feel how hard it is as it's drying. So that doesn't really mean anything. I'm just saying it. So that's kind of how life goes. Most of the things I say don't mean anything, I just say them, so take that as you will. Okay, so that is the last coat, and now it, it will dry, and the moment of truth will be revealed. This has already taken so much longer than if I were to just put on regular lashes, but I, I, what, you know? Really, the more I do this, the more I'm just thinking maybe regular lashes is just the best way to go. Plus, there's such a larger selection of regular lashes. And the more I work with it, the easier they become. But this is kind of like, you have to be a master at two things. <laughs> you have to be a master at your eyeliner. And I don't know. Just by the time you apply three layers, it looks a little gross. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can tell, but it looks a little dry and flaky. And that is not the look I'm going for today. Oh. I am gonna get my hair done and I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna that's gonna be my next video is my hair because it is my dream hair so I'm very excited about that oh my gosh something else I'm excited about is like after all this virus stuff is over and like the world is open again one of my friends and I are planning a trip to Chicago and like I that's all I'm thinking about like I'm just thinking about life and like how excited I am to have one again and just be happy and be Kaylin and like oh my gosh I cannot wait it's gonna be so fun and I'm just very excited I've only I've been to Chicago like when I was a kid so if you have any Chicago recommendations and stuff to do and stuff to check out please let me know because I'm so excited Okay, so I think it's time. I rambled for a little bit. So I think it is time to place this on my eye. I don't know how long I've been recording, but it's been a while. And like, I I don't feel like this is saving many time. Okay, whatever, here we go. There's no tools, it's just this. So we're just gonna see how this works. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my God, are you kidding? Okay, well, it's okay. Well, it's on my eye. There's a little bit of a problem as you can see right there. Okay, 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 it is on my eye. It is on my eyeball. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. It's on. Oh my god, look at that. This is farther than we got the first time, so I'm very excited right now. It's on. And you can't really see the wonky eyeliner, so that's a plus. Oh my gosh. Okay, I am very happy right now. I am enthused. I am ecstatic. Okay, so here we go. So now, oh my god. Oh my gosh, I'm very happy. I wonder how, like, I'll see if it will come off. There's probably a better way to do that. Holy freak. There's a poltergeist in here. Okay, so the last video was like good and entertaining because I was mad. But like, I'm not mad right now. Which, that is a statement in itself. But I'm impressed. The only thing I'm noticing is that this little part right here wants to keep coming up. You can't see it because it's not that bad but I've had it on for like two minutes. So I'm worried about the longevity of these lashes, honestly, because I can see it poking up. 
And that is a scary statement in many situations. Okay, so here's our next eye. There's no way in heaven I'm gonna be able to match this wing. So we're not even gonna go for that. We're just gonna we're just gonna go. We're just gonna wing it. I'm nervous. This is my bad eye anyway. Okay. Uh, I'm scared. Sorry, there is no content when I'm doing my eyeliner. <laughs> I take full brain power to do this. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. This is not going good, but it's not horrible yet. I think I just did. Oh, Lord. Okay. So they're not the same, <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, I will tell you the problem. This eyeliner dries so fast and it dries so hard that when I'm trying to fix it, it's just kind of like smudging and stopping because it is so hard. It is like drawing on concrete. I mean, not everyone does a wing, but it's said to do a wing for a dramatic look and who am I to not be dramatic? I wouldn't even be Kaylin if I wasn't dramatic. So, okay, we're just gonna leave it there and all the mess I've caused, and we're gonna go on. I'm really trying, I am truly trying. Oh my God, you can't even tell it looks a mess. It's fine, it's fine. Hopefully once I put the eyelashes on, you won't be able to tell it looks a mess. All you'll see is beautiful eyelashes. The, uh, it's just the fact that it dries so fast. It makes it so hard to go back over it and fix your shape. Okay, so that was coat one. That is the most hideous thing, besides me, I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, I'm ashamed. Instead of talking about all the insanity and bad things going on in the world, because I'm not going to start that on my channel, <laughs> I want to talk about good things. Little Ketchup is doing so good. He's getting so big, and I... It's crazy because when we got him, he was so small and like other people see him and they're like, oh, he's so tiny. But I think he's big because he's gotten so much bigger since when we got him. We've had him for almost a month now. Um, right now it's June 6th, so in three days it'll be a month and it's just, he's so sweet. Whenever he pees on his pee pad, which is like a 90% of the time, 10%, he's a little wonky, but after he goes on his pee pad, he will come over and like sit in front of the couch because he knows he gets a treat because he did good. And then when he pees on the floor, he does not come to me because he knows he did bad. <laughs> so he's just very cute and I really like having him. I love it. I mean, he's very difficult sometimes, but he has solidified that I do not want children because he's enough. He's more than enough. And at least he can only bark back at me. He can't talk back to me because I can't handle that. So he has much solidified that a dog is all I need in the world. And I'm okay with that. Also, I've had a really hard couple mental days within the past month and even though it's been hard there's been a couple friends that have just been so amazing and so it just feels good to know that you have good amazing friends that are there for you you know some people are trash and some people aren't so I just it just feels good to know that you have good friends you know so those are a couple really happy and good things and my hair and I get my nails done and I just am ready to feel good again and I got in the pool for the first time yesterday so I'm very happy about that it felt so good even though it hasn't been cold but it's been kind of rainy but the water felt so nice i wish i had more friends to come over and go swimming but that's fine whatever i like being in the pool alone sometimes i love that i've been talking and like zoomed in the whole time yes but i wish i had more friends to come swimming just because i do like to be out there alone sometimes but it does get a little boring so okay so it is time for the third coat the third and final coat and then I will have to say even though this has been a process and a half I feel like if you're not like a makeup guru or like what what the frick ever and you just want something I don't want to say fast because this has not been fast <laughs> I know I've been talking but I'm only talking because I'm waiting for this to dry if you have a couple I mean I was gonna say if you have a couple extra minutes you could do this but if you have a couple extra minutes you could just freaking do regular lashes you know so I don't know I feel like this is one of those products that's just kind of like I don't want to call it a gimmick because it does work but I mean if you put this much time into this you could put that much time into actual lashes oh you know something else I had someone tell me and I hope they're not watching I had someone tell me that whenever I said I was gonna make a TikTok they were worried because they didn't think I was funny like they didn't think I would be funny and I'm like some things you should keep 
to yourself. Hey, you surprised me because you're actually a funny person and not an unfunny person that I thought you were. Thanks. And then I've had stupid, stupid, try not to go on a rant, try not to go on a rant, stupid messages sent to me from people like on TikTok and they're like, do you have OnlyFans? Do you have... No, sir, I don't. You want to support me? Buy my art. You know what I'm saying? Like, hello, but don't... No. No, thank you. Oh, okay. So it is time. It, the time has come for the other... I mean, I really don't feel like this is going to be a problem. I feel like I know how this is going to work. But I really could have filmed myself doing my eyelashes, and it would have been probably a five-minute video had I done regular lashes. So here's the moment of truth. It feels very weird because you can feel the magnets like pulling towards your eye and it's just very a very strange feeling. Are you on there? Are you on there? No. No, you're not on there. Wow. Oh lord. You are a nasty one, aren't you? Okay. Hold on. I'm getting it. I got it. Look at that. I have eyelashes on my eyes now. <laughs> okay, that only took a long time. Holy flip. Okay. I mean, they feel pretty secure. They feel very tight. My whole eyes feel very tight. So if that's a feeling you like, you can have it with this. Okay, so here's my final thoughts. Because I'm not going to do a wear test on them. I just wanted to see if I could get them on my face, unlike the other ones, which I could not. So I do like them. I think they are pretty. They look like regular false lashes. I don't know if I could put mascara on them or not, but... You can't see, I don't think, but I can see in the mirror. I can still see my eyelashes because uh, they are not that black. Um, and so I would want to make them blend in, but what the frick ever. But here's my thing. Maybe, I think this is a different experience for everybody. If you have a couple extra minutes and you don't like eyelash glue and you don't want all that, then I think this would be a good, I think this would be a good thing. I mean, and you don't have to do the crazy cat eyes that I did but that's just my thing I like my wing and I don't know it wasn't a bad except oh my god my wings are so off <laughs> look at that long one look at that short one <laughs> it's all it's a mess I like it I just think it takes a lot longer than you know false lashes but on a day where maybe I don't want to use some of my expensive lashes I think this would be a good alternative and I think I'll test this out of my own time but I think I'll be able to draw the wing with my eyeliner and then just go and do the eyelashes with this one. So, I mean, I like it. And it worked a lot freaking better than the last one, if you remember. So, I think this is a great alternative. Especially, I mean, they feel really good. They don't feel loose. They don't feel like they're doing anything. Plus, if they did, the eye, I feel like you could just carry around maybe the eyeliner and touch it and put it back on. You know what I'm saying? So, I think this is nice. And the fact that it's up to 15 wears. Okay, I hear you. So I've had some people ask about them and I had a feeling this one would probably go better but at the same time I had a feeling the first one wouldn't go tragic like it did. So I like this a lot. Let me know your opinions on what you think. I think on like nice fancy days where I want to take pictures or like I'm going out like for the night or to like a nice dinner or something I would do my other lashes but on a day where maybe I just want to look a little cute or like I'm just gonna run somewhere but I still want a little more volume than just mascara I think this would be a really good option so once again it was the eye lure London brand I will link it down below in case you're interested but I'm very happy with these yes I might try them again tomorrow and test out the whole flick with my own you can't really tell that the eyeliner is wonky once you put the eyelashes on so I like that a lot I'm happy I'm a happy person and now I get to take them off and go swimming great <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching uh, the next video you see I'm very happy about it. Ooh, I'm so happy I'm so happy I'm so happy I'm going back to I know I was doing weekly videos but that was stressing me out <laughs> so now I'm going back to every other week and I hope my channel continues to grow and I can't thank you enough I'm so happy these lashes worked out oh my goodness oh my goodness Thank you all so much for watching. I'm so excited. I appreciate your support so, so much. And thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Look at that messy bed. You would think I would do my bed before I started. But I just want to keep it real. Whenever I'm on TikTok <laughs> and I'm just doing like a front view, I've had so many comments telling me that I look like a who or 
the lady that plays Martha May. Yeah, it's great. So, anyway, I just thought I would share that comment and see who else thinks I look like a who or Martha May. 